What's up everybody, L.U.I. here, salute to you wherever you are. What you're looking at is a picture comparison from Dennis James' fan page. Dennis James is the master guru trainer of Big Grammy. And you can contemplate the um, obvious difference and progress between 2013 and 2014, right? This is Big Grammy this year. It is a, an impressive improvement by all measures. You can take a look at the, you know, the, the, the size of the of the arm right now they're probably the biggest arms in the business alongside those of Rolly Winkler however Big Ramy is still bigger yet more aesthetic with a controllable waistline and way more better wheels and you know the, the overall package is definitely better that's why he places higher anyway uh, both arms you know progressed there is no doubt about it. look at the tricep sweep it is harder even the legs get bigger and definitely more details, right? So these are the improvement. He mentioned that, and we noticed it actually. Right now he can literally pose, they're so massive, he can literally pose uh, the front double biceps while flexing the abs. Trust me guys, if you follow bodybuilding, it's not everybody who can do that, right? Last time I checked, uh, it, it started actually back in the early 90s by a dude called Momo Ben Aziza. Uh, that dude was so massive he can do this pose while flexing the ad, right? The, the rest of the guys usually they prefer not. Anyway, I'm gonna show you another picture real quick uh, so you can see the progress as well. There you go. It's not only lightning, guys, it's definitely heavier, a little bit uh, bigger as well, and the roundness is starting to come. So, definitely more muscle maturity is starting to come in. He is 30 years old now, he, he's 30 since a few days and has been training for a little bit, a tiny bit more than four years, straight up, right? But the most important message I'm gonna show you, except these uh, comparison pictures, this is the last one, side chest, definitely bigger, more roundness. However, unfortunately, truth need, need to be told, this is not a crisp diced to the socks, jaw dropping uh, condition. He did not came in as shredded as Dennis Wolf. If this dude comes in as shredded as Dennis Wolf, he will be a reigning Mr. O for a freaking decade. Nobody can remove him from that. But the reason, and I spoke about this, I was the, the first one to mention it on, um, on YouTube because I heard news about it. And this is the proof. Look at it, guys. It is five minutes old. You can read here, five minutes old by Dennis James, right? This is the injury he sustained uh, about four weeks prior to Mr. Olympia in the hamstring, serious injury. This picture was taken, as you can read, two days after the injury, so it was a big deal. And for all intents and purposes, he was not able to train his hamstring, his glutes, not even his quadriceps, not even his legs for four weeks. You can see here, he was not able to train hams, glutes, or even quads for the last four weeks. Of course, Dennis James being a professional trainer, he did not want to mention it prior to the show to not create an excuse. He said, uh, okay, uh, we did not post or talk about it before the show because we did not want to create drama and make it look as a, an excuse, right? So that's it, guys. It is a serious injury. It happens, unfortunately, to a lot of champions. You guys know Dorian Yates several times actually hurt himself prior to the show because he was carb depleted yet he was start, he was basically trying to lift those crazy weights so it's quite sensitive uh, you know Dennis James is known to train a uh, high volume I salute him for that but this is what's up so either I mean trust me probably if he was not injured big Grammy uh, I'm not gonna say he would won Mr. Olympia now that's a big statement but in my opinion he could have easily cracked top five and top five is very important at this level because that means you're qualified automatically to the next Mr. Olympia. Unfortunately for him, next year uh, he will have to come back to compete again to qualify for the Mr. O. And you know, competing more than, I mean, twice a year is not as efficient as competing only once a year. But in my reckoning, if all goes well, if he does not him hurt himself and he dial in properly, uh, this dude uh, here, he cannot stop him. Look at the, uh, the front double biceps I mentioned. Uh, I mean, uh, Phil Heath, back in the day, if you go and take a look at the picture in 2011, he was able to do a front double biceps while flexing the abs. However, this year, as I mentioned, and as, 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 as you guys noticed, 
his midsection is taking its independence like it is senseless, like it is Scotland. That's what's up. So big props to Big Ramy, even though he plays seven. He has what it takes to be a, a reigning Minster Olympia for few years in a row, if all goes well. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what you think about it. God bless you all, all day and daily.